I think he should have to serve all of the 51 years. In Operation Crime and Justice tonight, a convicted killer now up for parole after serving only 30 of his 51 year sentence. Well, the family of his victim in Dixon is now living a nightmare as he could end up a free man. Fox 17 News Karen Aguilar joining us live downtown where his parole hearing is soon to take place. Karen. The family from Dixon is praying the Tennessee Board of Parole can see how much pain the convicted killer has caused them and hope they decide to keep him behind bars. Carrie Newberry was a 17 year old beauty with a five month old son, DJ. They had told me like I was always with her. I sat down with her son, who's now an adult. Not only did he never know his mother, he grew up knowing she was killed in the most horrible way back in 1993 by this man, James Spann. He shot her once, struck her down into the woods, shot her the other times, and then left her body for about 24 hours, went back and set her on fire. And this is Christmas present she had bought for me that was under the tree. As we go through the newspaper clippings that serve as a stark reminder of what Spann put his family through, he relives some of that pain. She didn't get to see my first step. She didn't get to see me graduate high school. She didn't get to see me go off to college. You know, I haven't had her when I meet her the most. His mom was burned so badly, she was first identified by police with this ring, an heirloom and fuel for his desire to keep Span in prison. He stole her from all of us. You know, and my family, they never got to say goodbye to her because of how burnt she was. Carrie's father, Charles Newberry, speaks to us before Span's parole hearing. How badly did her death and the manner in which she died impact you as her father? Oh, it's something that, you know, it's day in a day it goes by that you, I don't think about it. I don't want to see anybody to go through anything like this, you know, especially for what he did. Rudy Callis, a prison minister, believes this convicted killer might deserve a second chance. Oh, there certainly can be changed. I mean, I try to work with those guys. I've always said if you change a man's heart, you can change his life. He hasn't changed. The parole board has denied Span before. Carrie's family hopes the board members make the same decision. I think he's an evil person like he is. He has no remorse for what he did. Span's parole hearing is scheduled for tomorrow morning. Reporting live in downtown, Karen Aguilar, Fox 17 News, your code red station.